All right, yeah, there we go. Hello, everybody. So, City Manhaven is here today, and I have Blade with me. We hey, just read. <laughs> yeah, we just read literally one of the most disappointing things I have ever seen in my life. They gave artillery a buff. I mean, a. a, a, a buff. I'm sorry. Well, so <laughs> we, we have been sitting around for a year. You know, and uh, we, we've complained about artillery. A lot of people have complained about artillery, about balancing the game, getting things working correctly, and making sure that, well, we criticize what needs to be criticized and compliment what needs to be complimented. And um, for the longest time, for months, and I mean months, we have been told that they're going to lower the alphas, but they're going to increase the reload and increase the accuracy which means that this would have been a new experience to try out. Also, for anyone that's a, a quick notice, this tank on the right side, AMBT. I'm just going to make that fast. I don't even care. AMBT. <laughs> so keep in mind, a uh, Tier 8 American medium tank that is a three-shot autoloader might be coming to the game. So, yep. Just so you know, Independence. Um, we might be seeing an AMBT. Now, Shell Audio. Okay, they they mentioned shell audio, uh, tracers. All right, let's blade. Let's talk about tracers. tracers. A year a year ago, yes. they they made artillery shells brighter a year ago. They made yes. them stand out more a year ago. Yes, they still they stand out more, you know. But they didn't. But they didn't put the little tracer on it. Oh no, they had a tracer. Do you not remember whenever we would go zooming down a road and the next thing you know, you see a falling star? That's an artillery shell. And the person well, that hit I mean, got hit by a falling star in one shot. <laughs> right? Or am I, I always just... always love the falling stars. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they didn't have the, like... I mean, you, they, it wasn't the same, though. If, it, if what they showed in the picture of the tracer from what it is now to what it's going to be, it's going to be a more dominant tracer where you're going to really be able to tell direction with it. That's what I see. Um, but to me, don't know that that's, it, it's oh. still not going to matter because I mean, whenever you get hit, it tells you exactly where it came from. And I mean, right. it's yeah. not like artillery is repositioning all the time. <laughs> And they're always in a different area. It's, it's literally, I, I just, it, plus these two photos, it almost looks like they just, they are two different maps. Updated tracers, old tracers, look at the buildings in the background and then the new ones. Okay. These are two different maps. I mean, it's the same map, just one with the old textures, one with the new textures. Look at the trees in the background. And they come through. Look at the trees. A lot more detail. <laughs> with the previous tracers coming up. A bit more detail. Yeah, that is literally... Or just two completely different angles and uh, we're getting the house blocked off. No, it, it's just... I, I don't see the benefit in audio. Um, I, I made a post over on the official... Um, on um, discord stating that it's like okay so you guys are going to be redoing audio giving them 3d audio hold on um for those of you who don't know what 3d audio is 5.1 surround sound would be the best um the, the best way to describe this uh 5.1 surround sound 3d audio is let's say you hear a song you hear a certain tone come in the left ear and then you hear it go inside the right ear and now it sounds like it's rotating around you okay that that's what is uh 3d audio um, since I've been getting in the audio a lot with my setup and everything else, I've kind of learned a lot more about audio and everything else. I've got 7.1 surround sound, Dolby access headphones. Um, my Corsairs are very nice. I put a pretty penny on them because I like audio. I like music, but this, hold on. They were talking about 3d audio quality of life. Um, this might be wrong. Independent season. I think it was in the independent season coming down. Maybe not update news of the 14th. It's going to be a decent size update, uh, 9.3 gigs across the board, pretty much. And AMBT right here on the right side. I am a little bit stoked about that, in all honesty. 
kind of. Middle East hold the line, uh, improve new player experienced. Not worried about that because they've already de demolished it. I've played the new player version and it's just not good. And then they're showing off multi turret support. This is just showing off the UI top change primary. And then it shows your gun and they had to do two different screenshots for this to show it off. Um, kind of lazy, my opinion. But it is what it is. All right, map, Siegfried line that's coming back in. If you guys don't remember what um, Siegfried line is, it is the map that uh, you had the city in the center. You had the dragon's teeth all the way down, coming down. Images. I know this is like the most laziest way to do this. Uh, as I'm typing and stuff. There you go. But, yeah, it's just, they're bringing this map back. Uh, I've been waiting for more city maps to come back in because we're really limited right now with um, the maps that we have. Uh, it's going to be Tier 5+. plus. Uh, nice to know that they also removed Mountain Pass from the high-tier matchmaking, for whatever reason. Um, Mines was removed from Tier 8 matchmaking, for whatever reason. Port was removed from it as well, for whatever reason. There were good maps, and... Now they're giving us less maps to play on. Artillery 2.0 launches. All right. And then the information between these are completely separated. Okay. We come back here. Artillery quality of life. Um, all right. The shell 3D audio is not distant. All right. So this means you can tell the direction from where the shot originated and hear the shell prime pathway in relation to your position as the audio follows the shell as it travels through. Uh, travels the audio affects players at the same volume, regardless of where they are. Blade, you're loud yeah, in but... relation to the shell. Okay, so this, let, let's say this. Um, they talk about a lot of disabled veterans who primarily focus on our, uh, play artillery. You know, I have a lot of respect for disabled veterans. You guys served, you provided us with safety and ensured that I can do what I do today. That's why I try to get back as much as I can, except for the past few weeks, I've been a complete slacker and not uploading anything and just being a slacker. The part that irritates me is that the only thing for deaf people, deaf people who cannot hear, who don't even play with game audio, is a tracer. They can't hear the sound of the shell. Which means that this 3D audio effect is completely useless, which is now hypocritical of them to say that, oh, we're, we're doing this to help veterans. They're deaf. You, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I put a post up on Discord saying it's all like, I understand that, you know, Artillery 2.0, we've been waiting a year for this. And rather than getting an actual rework of Artillery... We're, we're getting 3D audio? I don't even play the game with audio anymore. And now they're making it to where everything's going to be audio-based. So what's the benefit? I, I'm going to see a tracer come flying at my face. And the thing is, I already know where artillery's camping at because they never move on the map that they're on. They're always in the same place. Um, occasionally you get that one artillery that's somewhere else and now it's going to be easier to counter battery, which means like whenever I play, cause somehow on my team, my artillery always gets counter batteried all the time. Don't ask how maybe it's cause I'm not on the red team, but there is this fine line that's there and we waited a year to get audio. I don't know about you guys, but to me, I don't swear a whole lot on my channel or express frustration, but I'm going to say this. It pisses me right the fuck off that we waited a year to get audio when they could have done the audio within a matter of a week. And did a test run on it. Did a super test on it. The thing is, inside the super test, okay, I've had a lot of information from the super test and I don't share it because I'm not going to expose anybody. It was funny because Max Chaos mentioned, no matter what we do, 60% of the community is going to disapprove of this. Well, 
You want to know the percentage of the community that's probably going to disapprove of the audio changes that they have implemented into this? About 95%. You're going to have that random 5% that supports it and thinks it's cool. Which, don't get me wrong, I think the trace is going to be cool. But 95% of the community is going to be very upset. I'm already upset and the update's not even out yet. Not to mention targeted alert. The one thing that made me a little bit irritated was if you have multiple people in a circle or any, any specific visuals to tell me if an artillery is aiming at me, this will work at the enemy same uh, that it has on you, knowing something aiming at you just won't. Okay. Um, I read somewhere, direct. the enemy must have direct line of sight, target must be spotted, the enemy artillery is looking at the target with the uh, strategic or trajectory camera. If multiple players within the aiming circle... Okay, the player closest to the center of the reticle is the player that is being looked at. Okay, so the indicator is only going to affect one person, which is more than likely going to be the person that is in the front pulling a corner. Now, let's say you're inside of a platoon. Out of nowhere, you have no idea that you are in the splash radius of the artillery because it only affects one person, the closest to the impact zone. Which means you have no idea if you're in a cluster, if you're too close together or not. And if we had that kind of comfort letting us know, hey, you're too bunched up. You need to kind of separate a little bit. That's going to be what helps. But the fact is, if you're within the circle, the aiming circle now, the artillery, and you're bunched up, only one person gets alerted. That's wrong, in my opinion. Everyone should be alerted. That way, me and Blade know this. Blade disperse fast by the way you're still muted but um yes i know it's... because we're talking about dinner oh man dinner yeah uh, i guess it's good timing but no it's just with with this update and everything that they're gonna be adding they're also adding the g soar a couple of other things this was the update i was waiting for I don't hate to say this. This was the update that was going to make or break me if I was going to stay continuing to play on console or stop to begin with. That's where I've been at now for about a year. Because, you see, prior to this, they talked about um, Artillery 2.0. Increasing the reload, increasing the accuracy, lowering the alpha. The thing is, we had Crew 2.0, which essentially gave Artillery improved reload improved accuracy i kind of don't get why you would make that better and then not decrease the damage and now rather than actually doing what they were gonna they they said that they were gonna do we get 3d audio so i don't know about you guys but to me this is upsetting and just i was at work whenever i read this i I felt nothing about it either. That was the that was the funny part. I literally just sat there and was all like, ah, that's stupid. And went back and did my job because I've been more focused on work than I have been about making content or recording or even streaming. And there's a couple of reasons why. Um, the devs don't even talk to me. I'll put posts up. I'll try to message them. They don't even talk to me. One of my biggest problems is, is that our community liaison, whatever his name is, I don't even know it still, and I don't care to know it. The reason why? Every single time I watch the community stream, if any of you guys have ever caught the community stream, he fires nothing but premium rounds. He doesn't even have high explosive loaded. He doesn't even have standard rounds loaded. Nothing but premium ammunition. And he is the person that you're supposed to look up to as a community liaison he is the community manager he should be someone that's trying to push you to use standard rounds to play the game the way it's intended to be played but apparently the way the game is intended to be played is load nothing but premium rounds and spend a crap ton of money and spend an obsessive amount of money on the game to convert gold to free xp to unlock every single tier 10 in the game that is the only thing i've gotten from this new community manager it's kind of a joke to me i don't know about anybody else so, Blade, do you have anything that you would like to add in on this? You got the stage for a split I just, sec. I just can't wait to see what this is all going to do to artillery because as far as I'm concerned, it's a buff. It's not really... A... It, it's not even a buff. It's literally <clears throat> nothing. They're doing nothing it's, to artillery. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're really 
just making it easier for you to see where they're at, supposedly, it, I guess. So I don't easier know. to see where they're at. Well, my oh no video that I have up there, I clearly looked up because I could see a tracer. You know? I, I right. could see a tracer. I looked up and it was like, oh no. And I died by artillery. Okay. We don't need a tracer. We already have a tracer. We have a really big freaking tracer, you guys, on artillery right now. And then they're trying to say, oh, we have a very tiny tracer. The thing is. Well, now it's, it's going to have like a streaking tail behind it. Is that going to affect me whenever it's coming straight at me? No. Exactly. It's just going to let I'm, everybody else now know. Now I'm going to hear it come. It I'm not going to, I'm not going to hear it go <laughs> past me. I'm going to hear it hit me, which I already hear yeah. it hit me to begin with. There's moments I jump because artillery hit me. You know, well, the way I understand it, you're going to hear them as soon as you, you're going to hear it as soon as they fire. So does that mean, oh no, everyone slap on reverse. Uh, like what, what's the benefit? I slap on reverse I, and rather I, than taking 500, I take a thousand from splash damage because a splash the weakest part of my tank. Cause that's how it works. <laughs> Whatever. I should have just taken the hit because it would have only done 700. Hey, on some of them tanks, if they're within a tank and a half of you, they're doing a thousand eight hundred nine hundred damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. eight hundred to a thousand damage. Literally the other so, day, yeah. Blade. The last time we played, there was three of us in a group, and artillery literally hit us for eighteen hundred damage across three tanks. Yeah, yeah. A tier Stupid. eight artillery decimating tier tens. You know, and we've waited two years to get the finger. That's literally what they're giving us right now. Yeah. Is a finger. You know, I know well, that you know, some people are going to see this video and they're going to think, oh, this, you're, you're being super negative about this Ar artillery. You're being super. The reason why I'm being super negative about this and the reason why I don't personally play artillery is because artillery is broken. OK, I cleaned out my hard drive about a month ago. Um, Blade can't even vouch for this. I put 12 matches in artillery about two months ago. Back yeah. to back to back to back. And I use nothing but AP shells. Okay. Within those 12 matches, I accumulated 40,000 damage across those 12 games. One of those stupid. matches, I had two blind shots on targets that weren't even spotted, not to mention on the move blind shots. And they weren't spotted with an AP shell. One of them was on vineyards. Um, on the bottom spawn behind the castle on the backside, he's going across the bottom. He's knocking over fences. I see the fences getting knocked over. So I just lead my shell following the fences that are falling down. Person who has never been spotted takes 1800 damage. Where was the balance? The fact that I have a bird's view gave me an advantage across the map to a target that was never spotted. So for me, I'm kind of at my tipping point if I'm going to continue playing coming this update or not. Because I've waited a year for Artillery 2.0. And to get the finger. That's all that was. For them to say, yeah. oh, we're just going to add some sound and some visuals to it. Yeah, it took you guys a year to add sound and visuals. Expl and it it, it explains why it's taking you two years to do the maps. And I don't know where, because I've, I've, I've watched a couple other people talk about it. And matter of fact, I watched Clone Guy. He even, like, read it word for word. <laughs> and I'm not, not going to read it word for word. And then, and then in the comments, they were like, yeah, they're increasing the, you know, the... Uh, the, the load and decreasing the damage. And I was like, where did it say that anywhere in that? Did it I, say I read that over it, it twice, that? dude. I read over it twice. I, I didn't nowhere see Nowhere in there does it say that they're increasing the load time and decreasing the damage. Didn't see that anywhere. Yeah. Target alert. Okay. Um, oh, there's the end of the page. All right. Here, I'm going to take it up nice and slowly. For anyone who wants to pause it, this is Shell Audio. Artillery quality of life updates, and then thank you. That's it. That's all we're getting. And then Independence season. This is just showing off the trailer, which actually I haven't even watched yet. 
Or maybe I have watched this. I think I have. Yeah, they're showing off a commander. They're showing off the G Sor, a couple of other things. I'm not gonna actually play this because to me, I'm multiple turret systems. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna be cool. Linus Tech Tips, uh, game ranks. Yeah. But it's a joke. It really is. It's a bad joke. It's a tremendously, I mean, it's literally, and then update news. Okay, it's not even a bad joke. It's a slap in the face. It really is. Balance changes for maps. Additional improvements and changes. I read over this as well. Just nothing really specific. They changed a couple of the, the cancel options for um, the command will issues addressed. Oh Did yeah, the Nominom uh, added extra rocks in E8. I actually want to go try that out to get stuck because I didn't realize that was a problem. Um, ton of Cold War stuff. And I mean, look at the stuff that they've had to fix, all right? I mean, <laughs> various issues. The, the fact is, is that they're trying to add all this content in super fast. <laughs> they're doing all these balance changes super fast. Not to mention, the T-32 still has the most broken top armor in the game. Has not yet been fixed, even though I've mentioned it nine times. The E-4 is still broken, <laughs> and then they're saying that it's not, when in fact, whenever the things haul down, there's a reason why its block rate's not that high. No one shoots at it. Why would you shoot at it? Okay, and here's a problem. Um... 76 millimeters, 76.2 millimeters can still bounce a Death Star around off the top armor. Yet if we take a look at PC, it's 38 millimeters thick, which means reverse side scraping. T32 is one of the best tanks in the game. You come reverse up to a ridge line, and your top armor is showing over the ridge line. You are impinable. Period. Your top armor, your frontal armor is easier to pin than your top armor on your rear engine bay. There's a problem with that. So, other than that, you guys, it's been nice. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really been nice. I'll be streaming yep. on Twitch. Um, YouTube content, on the other hand, will be really slow. Whenever a new tank comes <laughs> out, I'm not going to be investing a crazy amount of matches into it to do a review on it. Um, I'll put like 20 matches or something in it, make a review, play the tank live, go over the crew setups that I've gone through the tank, go over the equipment setups that I've gone through the tank. And that'll be about it because every single update that the console devs have released has pushed me further and further away from the game. When we're not playing a beta anymore, this is the official game yet all these new updates coming out, it's almost like they're trying to fix a beta. We're not playing a beta. We're playing the actual game. And it feels like it's, they're trying to fix, fix something that doesn't to... need to be fixed. And one thing that right. didn't need to be fixed was them changing APCR rounds on a ton of tanks. Because the thing is, uh, what do these rounds do? Um, for instance, um, APDS, a APCR. Okay, APDS. Does this readjust by two degrees? Does this readjust by five degrees? Is it? Does it readjust by two degrees? If it readjusts by two degrees, then it's APCR, and it's always been that way because we don't need multiple ammunition types for an over explanation of what it is. In my opinion, they're just making it worse on themselves and making it harder for content creators to actually know what's going on to make it harder for someone like me who dives into statistics of tanks, who dives into detailed statistics of tanks and tries to understand how they're put together period. And now they're changing all this stuff and it's just pushing me away because each time I try to jump in and ask, Oh, Hey, what is this? How do we improve this? Like what's wrong with this? Speaking of which, they're going to be changing the mark of excellence um, because uh, it says all like it says players, but now it's going to be saying recent players, which means that somehow all these tanks that have got 5,000, 6,000 damage accumulated is consistent enough that it's every single two weeks on the drop off. It's always 6,000 damage to get a three mark kind of leaves me questioning it a little bit. Other than that, we need to end this. It's 
25 minutes in. Um, <laughs> I'm just upset. And I, I, I don't know. Um, Mech Warrior got an update. I'm going to be continuing to play that. And Outriders is getting World Slayer. Is that right, Blade? Yes. Yeah, so yep. um, I'm going to be playing other games. And I'll be investing a little bit of time in the tanks. I'm going to complete the season pass. Uh, AMBT more than likely is possibly coming the console. It probably is. Uh, that T-34-100 is going in the Cold War. I don't, I don't care. It's Cold War. It should have been a completely different game. Instead, they tried to shove it down our throats, and now it's separated in the community, and it's <laughs> just its a waste of time, in my opinion. It's expensive and a waste. It's just... It, its I, I'm not playing an yep. MMO anymore. You know, I'm not going to go spend hundreds of hours grinding something just to get it and then throw it away after, like, 40 minutes of use. So... That that's that. Um, at least knowing that I spend twenty bucks in a separate game, that's several hours of really cool content, you know. And then coming back here and just yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just negative now. Other than that, you guys, thank you for listening in. If you made it to the end, I'm sorry that you had to deal with my ranting, but it is just BS. That's all it is. Yep, I agree absolute <laughs> bowl. <laughs> I love when you do that. I do too. It it's a great every thing. time. Um, so yeah, till next time you guys, um, if there even is a next time. Peace. Yeah. You, you have, have a good, uh, have a good time. I will probably be talked down by having a time. Cause that guy's been pretty cool. But other than that, I'm out of here.